We are here at our Changemaker Seminar, Democracy Forward, um, and we spend three and a half days together. It's all, almost, I mean, it's already the end of the seminar, um, and um, I guess everybody feels a little bit tired, but also inspired, right? So, and I'm here with one of our Changemakers. Tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what you do. So, I'm Blas Moreno, I'm from Spain, uh, and I co-founded and I'm running, and actually the editor-in-chief of an international affairs online magazine in Spain. Our aim is to um, uh, offer to the general public in Spain and Latin America, so Spanish-speaking people, uh, clear explanations of how the world is going and why changes are happening and how these changes affect them. So trying to uh, build, um, you know, like the conscience, public conscience on why global affairs actually matter to the real lives of the people. And what would you say is the world currently going <laughs> in which direction? Uh, I cannot help myself by being a bit pessimistic because of my, you know, like my, my studies was international relations, which is really like a realistic and pessimistic uh, field. But, uh, but coming to Aspen seminars and getting to know such aspiring and different people always gets me really energized and, uh, and happy and even positive about the outcomes because I, I can see there's lots of nice ideas and lots of energy to help other people and, and to make progress on, on global issues. So this seminar, I mean, it, 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 it took a lot of time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about the seminar, what you found maybe also surprising, what you didn't expect about uh, the seminar. Well, first thing that I most liked is the fact that we, well, you managed to put together uh, such a nice group of people coming from different countries, at least 20, I, I think, um, different backgrounds. And all of them were so much willing to give all of their ideas and even emotions openly to the, to the group. So that, that I liked very much. And obviously, like the format is really um, the the best one. I f I feel to be open in a debate and a discussion, which is something that honestly I cannot find anywhere else but Aspen. So I'm really happy and really really thankful to be to be invited to these seminars and and yeah, really really inspiring. Thank you. And what would you say you are you are going to take home into your work? Is there anything you you learned um, you want to integrate or you want to actually change in the future? I would say two things. First, um, each and every time that I come to an Aspen seminar, whether it's abroad or in Spain, I always reaffirm myself uh, of the need of making contacts and talking to people. And that would be the my second point, which is like a more general thing, is I'm really um, worried of inter uh, internal partisanship and polarization. Uh, my sense is that this is uh, the consequence of people not listening to each other openly and generously. So I, what I bring to, to my, my, my home country is the, the idea, the concern, the, the, the will to listen more, talk more to people, and trying to fight back this tendency towards autocracy, polarization, violence, even if it's not literally violence, but political tensions, which I think is one of the most concerning uh, threats we are facing now. And uh, maybe one last question. Um, what do you tell young people, other young people, I mean, you're also very <laughs> young, um, other young people, how to get involved? Well, as I said, listen more, ask more, talk to other people, different people. Don't close yourself to just uh, having relations with your own identity group, you know, like uh, talk to all the people, different countries, etc. And um, fight for what you, you really believe. Uh, I, I think... Young people are especially concerned of uh, global inequality, economic inequality, and climate change. This is really pressing issues, and I think they should, and they can actually, we can actually, uh, make really important things in these fields if we are believing that we have the power, which is, which is, which is true. Well, thank you so very, very much, um, and I hope that we stay in contact, and I hope that all of our Aspen Institutes um, will continue with this effort together. Uh, I am thankful. Thank you, Stormy, and thank you all of the Aspen Network for this incredible experience. Thank you very much.